Hello my nail queens and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Queen Pooh here. Please make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms and let's get right into the video. So today we're going to be trying out the BT Art Box Nails It's Coat Tip Soft Gel System. I am so excited to be testing these out. Um, the ones I order are Stiletto French. They have a pink face. They come with 150 pieces, 15 different nail sizes, and also they're a patented soft gel system, which is a base coat and a soft gel tip, and it's supposed to fit all nail bed sizes. So I am so excited to be testing these out today, like yay! And on the back of the box, it has some instructions telling you how to prep your nails as well as how to apply the tips. And also, I like the fact that they listed their Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest accounts. So you can be able to go over and follow any of those accounts and keep up with the latest updates of products that they release. So we already opened up the box, took out our nails. Also, we have a French X coat tip manual. Again, these are just some more steps telling you how you're supposed to prep before you put these nails on. So of course, you know, I skimmed through that as well. And yes, let's get into these stiletto Frenchies. Like, baby, when I tell you these are so cute, these are so cute. <laughs> So I just want to show you guys close up what these nails look like. Um, at the back end, which is your base, it's more of a sheer new pink kind of thing going. Um, they are very thin at the cuticle area so that way it kind of like blends and it doesn't look like a press on, which is really nice. So it makes the cuticles look more flush. Um, as you guys can see, I'm sizing my nails from sidewall to sidewall. Um, the first one I tried I think was a two and it was a little bit too small as you can see it does not go from sidewall to sidewall But I do have the size one which is more of a fit for my nails So I actually like the fact that these actually fit my cuticle area so nicely like Yeah, it, it's, it's there the volume the value <laughs> is definitely there for your money Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up sizing out the rest of my nails and let you guys enjoy that part and I'll be back First, I'm going to go ahead and push my cuticles back to expose any of the dead skin. Next, I'm going to grab my e-file and I'm going to go in with a cuticle bit on a low speed and remove all of that dead skin that is around the cuticle area. After I do that part, I'm going to take a round ball bit and I'm going to use that to remove the dead skin from around the cuticle area as well. And that is more so to be used like on the skin where you would clip the dead skin with the cuticle nipper. I'm going to use a ball bit instead to remove that dead skin. Now I'm just going to go ahead and buff the shine from my nails. Just taking a mini buff and block and removing the shine from my nails. And I'm not going too rough while doing this. I'm just doing enough to create some ridges for my gel product to adhere to. So yeah, that's pretty much all I do there. Thank you. 
Now that our nails are prepped, we're just going to dust away all the dust. Take an alcohol pad and wipe all the dust from off the nails, cleaning the nails very, very good, making sure you're scrubbing all of the dust off of the nails. Making sure you scrub <laughs> all the dust off the nails. Again, this is to help you get a more secure adhesion with the nails and ensuring that you have no nails lifting, no nails popping off, and you get the full wear out of your nails. So here's my nails fully prepped. So now we're gonna go ahead and grab our first nail tip and I'm just showing you guys what the inside of the nail looks like. It is a matte inside. So this is my nail dehydrator that I love to use. This is by Savvyland. And I'm just gonna take that and dehydrate all my nails. So now I'm going to go in with the tip primer by BT Art Box as well. Um, don't mind the bottle. It got a little beat up in packaging. So yeah, but I'm just going to take some of that and I'm just going to put a little bit inside of the actual nail tip. And I don't know, maybe it's just me, but this primer kind of gives off a dehydrator and not really a primer. And again, maybe it's just me, but it dries really fast when you apply it and as you're going to see when I apply it to my nails it dries like a dehydrator so yeah I'm going to think it's a dehydrator <laughs> And just showing you what I mean, um, when I applied it, it dried super quick, just like a dehydrator. So, yeah, I'm going to call it a dehydrator. So, I end up going in after I dehydrated all my nails and primed my nails. I went in with my Savvy Lands primer because it gives off more of a tacky base. And especially I'm working with gel products, I wanted to make sure I have a more more tacky base for my gel products to adhere to. So again, I just went in with some Savvy Land Primer and primed my nails with two coats of that. Now I'm going to take the D&D &D base coat and I'm going to apply it to all of my nails and I'm going to care for 60 seconds. So now we're going to grab the gel glue by BT Art Box as well and I'm just going to use this to apply the nails. So taking a small amount, you don't need a lot and I'm just going to go ahead and do like a slip layer like of the gel like just a first layer and then I'm going to drag the remaining product off of the brush and just kind of move it around at the bottom. After I do that, I'm going to turn my light back on because you don't want to fight with the light while you're trying to cure this <laughs> so going in at a 45 degree angle and as you can see when the gel reaches the free edge of your nails that is when you want to go ahead and cure it and boom yes you have a full nail within 30 seconds like the process was super easy and i'm just going to show you guys again how I did mine going in with a slip layer and I'm going to drag that product off of the brush the remaining product off of the brush not going to add any more turn on my light and go in at a 45 degree angle cure for 60 seconds and boom, another flawless nail.
and I will be sure to link everything down in the description box below um, just in case you see anything that you like you can be able to go into the description box and be able to click on the link to find the products that I use And here are the nails after we have fully cured for 60 seconds. Oh, these are so freaking cute. They were the simplest process to do. Like when I say I am not just hyping these nails up, I really enjoyed this process, how simple and easy it was. So I'm just going to go in and foul just a little bit just to make sure that I get that little bit of the tip off from taking them off of the plastic part. And just going into shaping just a little bit um if you do decide to do this be careful because you can mess up the whole um, French so just be careful if you do decide to go in and foul and clean up just a little bit now I'm going to go back in with some base coat and I just did this because I wanted to go over the nails with a design and yeah i think i could have did it without it but i'm a base type of girl so yeah <laughs> i like base coat so i'm just gonna go in with some base coat and i'm gonna do this to all of my nails here for 60 seconds and then we can go in with the next step So now that my nails have been cured, these are so gorgeous. Like when I tell y'all, I was impressed. I was definitely impressed. So now I'm going to take the Savvy Land Gel Polish. And I got this in like a little kit a while back. So this color is the Shimmery Purple. And I'm just going to take that and starting with my finger next to my thumb, I'm just going to outline the French with a purple smile line. And I'm going to do that two times. After I 
secured that for 30 seconds I decided to go in with a second layer and just to add a little bit more color to it because the one layer was kind of sheer so I just wanted to add a little bit more dimension and I'm just going to go in and trace over that line cure again for another 30 seconds before moving on to the next finger So on the next two fingers, I just kind of freestyled and decided to do two lines um, going across each other on both of those nails. So you're going to see me go in with the first line and get it to my preferred thickness. And I'm going to go in with the second line and again, getting it to my preferred thickness. And I'm going to do this on both of my nails here for 60 seconds and come back and do a second layer and cure that for 60 seconds and I'll be done with I'll be done with those two nails and if you haven't already please make sure you like comment and subscribe thank you So as you can see, the nails are coming together really nicely. So I was trying to decide on how to do my pinky nail and I end up deciding to outline it just like the finger nets to my thumb, just to kind of give there some similarity of the set. And that pretty much did everything for me. It was a really simple set to do. And I really appreciate having the French tip done for me. like. I am not, again, hyping these nails up in any way, but this process made it so much easier to have some really nice nails in less than 30 minutes. And here are the nails so far. The design is very nice and simple. And I am really liking the BT Art Box nails just from my first experience. Um, it really helps for someone who struggles with doing French nails and want a pretty French set. I'm really grateful to have these. So next I just decided to go in with some top coat from D&D. And I'm just gonna go ahead and top coat all my nails. Cure that for 60 seconds and I'll be back with the end result.
and these are how the nails are looking i went in with some cuticle oil and y'all i am in love with these nails i would definitely be purchasing more from btr box just to have that beautiful cuticle line and the strength is there the nails is there i am loving it so until next time i'll see you guys later on my next video thank you guys for watching 